Yeah, just another great job by our pitching staff. Uh, you know, a lot of people were asking me, what do you think? You know, Smith can have another good outing. You know, it's tough. Whenever you have an outing like he had last last weekend, which is, you know, for some people it's once in a lifetime, but I don't think with him it's going to be. Um, and my comment was he'll be, he'll be good. I don't expect him to be as good just because it's, you know, the outing after. But, uh, you know, I thought he threw the ball extremely well. He gives up a leadoff home run, and that was really about all they did on it with him. And, uh, you know, I think he walked one and struck out 12 and obviously gave us a chance to, you know, to, to build up a lead. It was only a couple of runs. That was – uh, the disappointing part of the, the game is that we had a couple other chances to score a few more runs and, and maybe have four or five run lead uh, before he came out of the game and it didn't happen. Give credit to their pitcher. He started throwing that slider and that breaking ball and then he just threw the fastball every now and then and he rolled through those last few innings uh, pretty easily. Um, but, uh, you know, he, I thought I thought Cody Frank came in and did a great job. I think he struck out the side and you know, he hit a batter in both innings, I think, and that was uh, that ended up being a little bit tough. But uh, Gabe Gackle came in and just did a super job having to go through the top of their order with the tie and run on base. So uh, I think that was another opportunity for him to, you know, to get, gain some experience uh, closing a game uh, when it was tight. And uh, he, he did a great job. So that's what I got. Dave, what did you see on the home run that Hagan gave up? And just what did you think of the way he bounced back that inning specifically just to mow him down, right? Well, One, two, three after that. Vogel's a good hitter. I mean, I watched him in BP, and he was hitting the ball extremely hard all over the park. And he's off to a hot start. And, you know, you saw the very first pitch of the game, and who knows how hard it was thrown uh, because our board wasn't working at the time. Um, but it's not always right, as you know. Uh, but he came out of his shoes to hit it, so he guessed and he got there and he swung and missed at the first pitch but uh you know he 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 cheated a little bit on a fastball and he hit it and hit the bottom of it and it hit it late deep in the zone and and drove it out of the park you know and a guy's throwing 95 96 97 98 whatever he's throwing you know you don't have to get a lot of it if you get a little bit of leverage and extension and all those other offensive terms that everybody uses all the time but he uh he just did a nice job with it and then I thought Hagen you know, Hagen didn't, you know, it, it didn't go crazy. And uh, I think probably more than anything, he might have just like a little slap in the face and kind of got him upset. And uh, then he went to work. I remember last year with Hagen, his maybe problem was getting his pitch count up, not being able to work deeper into games. But this is 78 pitches in six innings last week, 81 in six innings yeah. this week. Just what have you thought about his efficiency? It's been great. You know, and he, he knew that was the key for him to be, a really, really good starter, and he he he's all of that. And, uh, you know, he could have gone another inning, uh, but we figured 81 was enough. And, uh, you know, especially after last week and so much uh, emotion and, and, and everything that was going on. So uh, good to get him out of there, and it was great to have Cody come in and give us a, a good seventh inning. Fresh off the two home runs on Tuesday, Jason, big, you know, two RBI double there to get the offense going. Just how nice is that to see? I know you wanted him to play a little bit looser this season. Is he doing that so far, yeah. you think? I mean, he got the his first pitch he saw. It was a fastball about 93 miles an hour, and it was on the inside half of the plate. If you watch the replay, he really got his hands inside the ball and just shot it down that right field line. And he does that a lot in, in, in batting practice uh, when we're working on going the other way and through the middle. He He's got a knack for – for doing that with an inside fastball if he's, you know, not on it, so to speak, or he's out front or guessing. And that was a big swing for us, scored two. Uh, we had a little base runner mistake after that. But, you know, that's me. I got to talk, you know, those things that bother me. And uh, because it would be nice to see if we could have gotten that one in too. But just a really big swing for us. Yeah, I think this is a, excuse me, the first Friday where you've gone, you know, where Cody and Gabe have both come out of the pen and pitched on a Friday. What walk us through maybe your decision process there and just what you saw specifically from both those guys? Well, the decision process is just that, you know, we feel good about those guys. We're trying to win the game and the game was close three to one at the time. Um, you know, you, you can't, you know, you got to win the first one. If, if you have a shot, you got to go for it. And, uh, you know, I don't know. We just felt like, you know, hard throwing lefty Cody's totally different. 
from the right side, you know, just to see, to see him a little bit. And, uh, I think he could have gone longer if he had to maybe got himself into a little bit of trouble with like hitting bat or stuff like that. But, uh, I don't know. And, and, you know, gay was, he pitched really well last weekend and game was on the line. We thought this is the guy we want in there right now. So you going off of that, you had McIntyre and I believe Hewlett up in the ninth inning, had some older guys ready. What ultimately gave you the confidence to stick with a freshman in that spot and let him work through it? Well, his stuff was, was good, you know, and he's still throwing the ball right around the plate. Fastball is electric and had a uh, had a pretty good breaking ball going, especially, you know, it seemed like when you got a couple strikes on guys, they, you know, they didn't want to, they didn't want to go down swinging and, you know, they, they fouled off a couple pretty good pitches, got to give them credit, but his stuff was, was good. And, uh, you know, if he'd got into a jam or, and he was in a little bit of a jam, but, you know, the tie and run didn't get to the plate. And if it had been tie and run to the plate and been the left-hander, you know, we'd have probably gone left, left to get that last one. He even had a couple hits today. Obviously, you guys have seen him hit a lot better than he has to start this season. How close do you think he is to getting it really going and kicking it into gear here? Yeah, I think, you know, it's it's he's kind of streaky. That's what we've seen. That's what we've heard. Um, it's it's all about strike zone for him. If he'll just be a little bit more patient, he's going to hit the ball a lot harder, a lot more. And, uh, you know, it's just someone who's pressing, new, trying to do well. Uh, sometimes you got to let the game come to you a little bit more and, uh, you know, you get it. He's still young. He's sophomore. Uh, but, uh, he, he's going to be fine, but I, I just think it, he needs to maybe relax a little bit too, and just take what they give him, let the guys around him work and, uh, he'll be good. what did you think of their starting pitcher Vernon? Well, I thought he did a really good job. You know, you looked at his numbers and he, he he had given up some walks and he and he walked us there in the in the second inning and we scored three runs and I don't know if he walked us after that I mean maybe he did I guess he one other time but I don't really remember it and uh, I just feel like that he 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 kept he kept the ball away from us and we just kept rolling over and hitting ground balls to short and second second baseman played over behind the bag a lot you know we finally Sprague a lot finally. You know, hit that big hole they were leaving open for us because we were getting frustrated with that. Because, uh, you know, we do a pretty good job with that. Um, it seems like when we when we're working on it, and then in the game, you got to trust yourself a little bit and just just take a single. You know, you don't have to homer or double. Just take a single. Let the next guy go. Now, I think you guys led the nation in strikeouts entering this game. Had twenty more today. I mean, has it surprised you maybe the amount of strikeouts that your pitchers are getting? Well, I don't think anybody could have predicted how many we have, you know, the last few games because it's been un unbelievable, honestly. But it doesn't surprise me that we're striking a lot of people out. We have really good arms on our team, and they throw strikes. You know, we only walked a couple all day, and I think that's about right when we walked two, four. And, no, we walked, yeah, two. So, uh, you know, when you're when you're not walking people, you're making them swing the bat, and uh, you got a chance to strike people out when you got arms and – you know, I think I've been asked this question a few times. We have guys that have secondary pitches, and that's what it takes. They got pitches that can get you out and get you to swing and miss. I guess speaking of which, is that, is that something that can be contagious, like the lack of walks among an entire pitching staff? Well, I think it makes for competition amongst the other pitchers. You know, they see that that's the way you do it. That's how you win. That's how you pitch. You know, if you can, you don't walk people, you know, you're giving yourself – a chance to stay in the game a lot longer and you're giving your team a lot better opportunity to win the game. And then there's, co and there's competition amongst the pitchers themselves. I mean, to me, that's the greatest competition. That's what makes you better when you got teammates that like each other and they're competing against each other, uh, you know, to, you know, not maybe walk less than the other guy. I don't think they're really having a competition so you can strike the most guys out. I think, yeah, that just happens. Kind of the same with hitters, you know. If you be up and down the line, if a guy start hitting, it just seems like it gets contagious, and I just it's kind of the way the game works. There's a lot of a lot of mental little mental things going into this game. Would you look at the roster and and how old Murray State is? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're super old. We've talked about it two or three times with the team, and uh, you know, I mean, starting a senior and a senior and a and a grad. That's their three starters, and then, uh, you know, in, in the they're, they're the guys that are in that lineup, they're I think they have one junior, and the rest are 
fourth year guys, whether they're red shirt juniors or straight up seniors in a grad. I mean, they have a lot of older guys. And I told our guys yesterday, they're not going to come in here and you're not going to scare them into losing. You're going to have to go beat them. And uh, today they didn't beat themselves. Um, we had to beat them. It wasn't pretty, but we, we did beat them. And then uh, on Hagen, so much focus on his strikeouts, but I thought that play that he made with his glove to, to flip to first was a, a big play in the game. What do you think? Well, that? that would have been a leadoff hit. And, you know, he got to the balls of, it was a perfect bunt and uh, flipped it with his glove, which was the play. He didn't have time to get his hand down there at the same time. And, you know, he flipped it a little bit high, stuck in the glove. And uh, I thought, you know, I thought McLaughlin did a good job of kind of going on top of it and going to get it just a little bit. It's probably the difference once they reviewed it. It was a tough call. We weren't sure. We felt like he could be out. We thought, hey, this is a good time to ask for them to look at it. But that was a big play. And Hagen's one of the best defensive pitchers in our league every year. Dave, I noticed uh, Ben Bybee caught the ceremonial first pitch today. I guess he's back with the team. What, how close is he to getting back in the mix? Yeah. So the way that works when you have mono is uh, you can be around the guys once you get to a certain point. Um, and he's obviously to that point. He just can't. There's like a 21-day, you know, situation there. And he's not to that yet. But he could be hanging around. I, I don't know, you know. Uh, he's having to do most of his stuff on his own, whatever he can do. And then hopefully we can get him back with, with our catchers and catching, you know, throwing and getting ready to pitch in a real game, hopefully in the next couple of weeks. I know you were a little frustrated by not adding to the lead when Hagen was out there, but you did get two insurance runs there in the eighth, uh, something struggled with a little last week and just some, some added optimism from, from being able to kind of manufacture those two runs and push the lead there yeah. at the end. Yeah. We didn't do a whole lot there. Uh, I think, you know, we had a two sing, a two strike single by Kendall Diggs, And then uh, I think spray glot finally rolled one through the big hole over there. And, you know, then, uh, you know, we, we just, we just found a way to score one and then they gave us one with a wild pitch and yeah, it was uh it was it was a big relief to to score one. You know the difference between two two run lead and three run lead for a coach or a team is is a lot. And then you get that fourth run, you know it, it gives you an opportunity to relax a little bit, knowing hey if you, if if the guy gets in trouble a little bit out there, give him a little bit more time to get out of it. Okay, see you guys.